Hi guys, it's Luke from Brenda Bella Podiatry. Uh, a couple of weeks ago I did a live on what do we look for when our shoes are a little bit old? What are the features that we need to look for to tell us that we need to replace our shoes? Um, I thought it would be a good addition to, I've got a, a brand new pair of the exact same model to compare an old versus a new shoe. <clears throat> but before we do compare those shoes, I just wanted to tell or just wanted to make you all aware of there is going to be some different variables that, that, that slightly alter the wear between shoe. The main one of them is your body weight. Obviously, the more you weigh, the harder you are on your shoes, the quicker you're going to need to turn them over. And also, the surfaces that you run on, run on or use the, the shoes on will have some effect. So, if you're using these shoes on grassy surfaces, obviously, it's not going to be as aggressive on the shoes if we're running on concrete all the time. So, let's just quickly have a look at this shoe. So this shoe has just done under, five, uh, under 600 Ks, and let's just recap over those features of that we wanted to see. So it's the wrinkle lines on our EVA here. So just like your grandma has wrinkle, grandmother and grandfather has wrinkles when they get old on their face, so will a shoe. So those wrinkles through here. <clears throat> we also want to check that heel counter. Now that heel counter, I know that's out of thermoplastic. These are Brooks Racer shoes, so I know that's a good quality there. We also want to have a look at the tread on your shoe and the general upper. <clears throat> and then there was one final test which was really important was the torsion in the shoe, the actual support that it actually gives you your, your foot. Okay, so we can see that that's quite flimsy, but that started out as a really supportive shoe. Let's go to the new model here. And we'll start off on that torsion, what we finished off on, on this shoe, just to give you that direct comparison. So as you can see, I'm applying the same amount of pressure here, guys. <clears throat> and that shoe is doing exactly what it should do as far as your sole goes in providing torsional support. We can see here through this midsole, the different colours signifies dual density, which means that this is a little bit harder to su support your midsole through here, but as we can see, there's no wrinkles there, and it looks brand new. <clears throat> that heel counter, okay, I can barely budge that. But we can also see here, just in terms, I like to clean my shoes regularly enough. I know they look really filthy here, but you can see the quality of the upper there of the old compared to the new. Look guys, I just wanted to kind of run over those for you again, because I know a comparison of old or just pulling the old out really doesn't show you what you have come from when the shoe was new. Um, if you found that helpful or if you have a friend that you run with or a workmate or something and you know you can see those shoe features on their shoes, please share this video with them or tag them in it. Um, we'd be more than happy to see them in better shoes. If you have any questions, guys, please post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye.